let's teach you some things about Pulse and Rainbow Six Extraction. And real quick, what we're going to do is go over his equipment. We're going to talk about when you should pick Pulse. And then we're going to go into a match and then show you a little bit about how he actually works. So let's talk about when you would want to pick Pulse. Why would you ever pick him? The reason why you would pick Pulse is because he's good at basically every single mission. There isn't anything he's really bad at other than wall to wall. That's a terrible time to pick Pulse. But aside from that, he's good at everything. And let me tell you why. He has this little gadget that he pulls up and allows him to see VIPs, MIAs, and most importantly, it lets you see nests. And nests are a huge part of every single mission because if you control the nests you control the game and not only that he's really good in solo queue because sometimes people like to run ahead like crazy people and if you're able to see all the nests right away not only does that help crazy people be less crazy because they can actually see what's ahead of them but if they do anything nuts and get things screaming at them you know exactly where you got to go to start cleaning everything up pulse can act fast not only can he act fast because he can see things he is also literally very fast he has a speed five he also has an armor three at level 10. let's talk about his advancements real quick the range on his gadget gets better at level two he gets a passive sensor at level seven so he can just see nests around him without having to have his gadget up granted it's only eight meters so it's not that big a deal but then at level 10 what's really cool about him is when he has his gadget up anything that gets scanned stays scanned for 30 seconds after he puts his gadget away so you got 30 seconds. It's basically a lion thing for Ness whenever you want it. No cooldown, no nothing. Just pop it out, look around. Here I go. And because Pulse is shaped this way and has these things, this is what I run on him. I run the 5.56 five, because it's a nice high damage weapon. Recoil is not that bad. It's a little crooked, but it's not that bad. But don't get me wrong. The UMP is great. It's still high damage. It has a nice tight recoil pattern and it complements Pulse's speed. And then for a secondary, I just pick one of the pistols and throw a suppressor on him. Now, since Pulse has that scanner and since pulse is fast this is where you can consider maybe i don't want to have an xr drone on because he gets so much intel as is maybe somebody else on your team can be the person scanning so this opens up opportunities to pick things like an explosive harness i really love the explosive harness i think it's one of the better items in the game because it gets you more out of your react tech that you could pick up and you just have a lot more things to throw at things which makes your job easier and since you have a lot of things to throw at things and since pulse is a very fast character at speed five this gives you a really good opportunity to pick something like a paralysis grenade because you can throw a paralysis and then you have enough speed to get around or to get to whatever you stunned to go ahead and finish it off. In my mind, I would do anything to complement what his kit is, which is has a lot of intel, knows exactly where to go, has a lot of speed, can get there fast. Missions that he is going to be specifically good on is going to be the aberrant nest because he can find the nest right away because that's what he does is he sees nests. Also, we have to plant and track. That allows you to be very swift and methodical about where you're going to go with your nest. You don't have to sit here and take the time to scan every once in a while with that drone. You got to drive it around. Just real quick, pop up your scanner, know exactly where you got to go, go to it, get it done. Also, since you can see the VIPs, it allows you to quickly get a VIP mission done. But again, to be clear, Pulse is good at every mission in the game because nests are a huge part of every mission in the game. And speed is a really big deal in this game so i'm assuming he's gonna pop up in the next maelstrom so if you don't have your pulse leveled up yet he's a really he's gonna be a great pick for it i can almost guarantee you he's gonna be in the next maelstrom because we've had 12 operators in two weeks so the last six are probably gonna be in the third week so i'd consider getting your pulse leveled up for this third week coming up so we just loaded into a match here you can tell in the top left hand corner things just started and i'm actually really excited about this one because we have armor nests and this is a great time to see just how great pulse can be so right away at the beginning of the match, this is Pulse's strong point, is I can bust out this little gadget, and I can see where all the nests are right away. And if anything goes wrong, I know exactly where I gotta go. It helps me plan out a path. Nothing can get out of control because as long as I know where things are, I can address them right as they happen. So if anybody screams at me that I didn't see coming, not a big deal. I just gotta go clean up the nests real quick, because they have a certain radius in where they scream. So they're not gonna scream at the whole map. So as long as I hustle to wherever I gotta go, things will be fine. And because of that, Pulse can basically speedrun stuff on top of the fact that he's just really fast. And what you'll see here is... Also, I kind of keep my distance on a lot of these. You can just fly through stuff. Somebody scream over there, not a big deal. Don't really care. If anything does scream, on top of that, you can actually see them pulsating because you scanned all of these. See, this is the level 10 thing that Pulse does, right? You can see the outlines. So I can see the outlines of all these nests. This is the level 10 feature. Oh my god, I hate these little mines that he makes. So not only... Can you see where you gotta go? If something does scream, you can see which nests are alerted so you know which ones are the problem nests right away. 
that, that there's so much power in that because if if you control the nest you control the game if you let the nest get out of control you tend to lose the game so before you know it i mean i'm in solo right now but before you know it this whole freaking run's gonna be over because i cleaned everything out even if things scream at me who cares and also since i know where all the nests are things don't really have a chance to scream at me as much because if there's a nest around there's probably still something crawling around it which means that's where i can pay attention a little bit more and honestly i think it's already over now there's two nests over there didn't clear yet but that's nice so i know i gotta run over there and then i can just fly over there get it done no big deal and since pulse can move so fast he can also, again, address these problems very quickly. Pulse, in my mind, is the one that saves your team. I know people are going to, like, dock for that reason. They're going to, like, rook for that reason where they keep your survivability up. But Pulse keeps a bad thing from happening. And if something bad is already happening, he keeps it from getting worse. And as a reminder, the scans that you have, they last for 30 seconds at level 10 after you close them off. And, yeah, that's my last nest right here. Game's already over. Nothing really had a chance to get me because I could already tell where it was coming. And nothing else is going to spawn on the map because I already took it all out. Mission completed. That's Pulse for you. He's absolutely insane. I really hope people start to catch on to him and just how powerful he can be. Because if nothing can get you or nothing can spawn, the map and the game become pretty trivial. It's very, very easy once you got a good Pulse on your team. Yeah, there's nothing. That's it. I can't find anything else. Game's over. <laughs> Easy as pie. Oh, by the way, you see these little things that just booped me? If these nests do get you, you can bust them off with a stun grenade or a paralysis grenade or really anything that explodes on you. I know smokes. Um, smokes smokes will do it. Or Ela's impact nades that she has. Or Nomad can clear them off of herself. If you have anything that does damage, you can typically get those things off of you. And also another kind of goofy trick here is if you do happen to get any of these blinding spores on the front of you, sometimes you can use your laser and get them off you like that. You see that? I can get some of them off like that. So if you only have one or two on you and they're on the front of you, sometimes you can just yank them off by using the laser or spinning around with the laser. It's not foolproof, but it's a nice little thing to have in your kit. And if you're really desperate to get some of these blinding spores off you, like, oh God, what do I do? And you have some of these around here, these will actually get them off you too, which is kind of funny. So just like that, all the blinding spores are gone. You won't get any points for it if you do it this way, but they're gone. <laughs> and real quick before the video ends, I want to correct something from the last video I did. I covered Vigil. And with the Vigil video, I said the SMG-12 is not a suppressed weapon. It doesn't have an internal suppressor. One, because the description doesn't say anything about it. And then if you go ahead and you take a look at Hibana here and her weapon, it does say the suppressor's built in. Also, I tested it and it was acting like an unsuppressed weapon. Things were being aggroed when I would shoot near them, but they weren't being aggroed when I would shoot with a suppressed K1A next to them. So that made me think it wasn't suppressed. And then also, I looked up on the internet, which is probably a bad idea, but people were saying that it used to be suppressed in Siege, and then they took it out of Siege with its suppression, so uh, all that combined made me think that this thing was not a suppressed weapon in Extraction. However, I tested again, and a lot of you guys in the comments said it was suppressed, so based off of my new test here, it seemed like it was acting like a suppressed weapon, so I must have just been wrong, or I tested something wrong the first time. Sorry for being wrong, sorry for messing up, just wanted to clear it up. You guys are right. Thanks for teaching me something. We stream just about every single night on twitch.tv slash swingpoint. Link's in the description and also the top comment. We're going to be covering the new Maelstrom when that comes out. We also covered the Maelstrom this week and also the Maelstrom on the very first day. And we've gotten diamonds on all of them. So I'm excited to see what they're coming up with the new one here. And I wouldn't be surprised if Pulse is someone we can play. So if you want to see that, go ahead and check that out. Also, if this video is helpful to you or any of the other videos on the channel have been helpful, please consider subscribing. And with that, thank you guys. You're the best and I'll see you in the next video that we do around here.